What is signal approximation using orthogonal functions? The concept of orthogonality can be applied to signals. Let us consider two signals F1T and F2T similar to vectors can be approximately F1T in terms of F2T as F1 of t equals to c12 into F2 of t plus Fe of t for t1 less than t less than t2. Fe of t equals to F1 of t minus c12 into F2 of t. One possible way of minimizing the error is integrating over the interval t1 to t2. 1 by t minus t1 into integral t1 t2 of Fe to t into dt. 1 by t12 minus t1 into integral t1 t2 of f1 of t minus c12 into f2 of t into dt. However, this step also does not reduce the error to appreciable extent. This can be corrected by taking the square of error function. Epsilon e equals to 1 by t minus t1 into integral t1 t2 of f e of t square into dt. Epsilon e equals to 1 by t2 minus t1 into integral t1 t2 of square of f1 of t minus c12 into f2 of t into dt. Where epsilon is the mean square value of error signal, the value of c12 which minimizes the error. We need to calculate d into epsilon by dc12 equals to 0. d by dc12 of 1 by t2 minus t1 into integral t1 t2 of square of f1 of t minus c12 into f2 of t into dt equals to 0. 1 by t2 minus t1 into integral t1 t2 of d by dc12 of f1 square t minus d by dc12 into 2 into f1 of t into c12 into f2 of t plus d by dc12 of f2 square of t into c12 square into dt equals to 0. Derivative of the term which do not have c12 term or 0. Integral t1 t2 of minus 2 into f1 of t into f2 of t into dt plus 2 into c12 into integral t1 t2 of f2 square of t into dt equals to 0. If c12 equal to integral t1 t2 of f1 of t into f2 of t into dt by integral t1 t2 of f2 square of t into dt equals to 0. The two signals are said to be orthogonal. Put C12 is equal to 0 to get condition from orthogonality. Integral T1 T2 of F1 of T into F2 of T into DT equals to 0.